Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you wherever you may be. Welcome to the channel. Team Sweaty Palms coming back to you with the third episode of our multi-part tutorial, How to Become Overpowered in Elden Ring. I am your guide, Bad Human, and today we'll be covering a new section to the first area in the game, Limgrave, and a hidden underground region of the game, the Shifra River. Fire up that machine and let's get going. In the previous tutorial, we left off at the isolated merchant shack in the Weeping Peninsula. So, first off, let's fast travel back to the Agil Lake south side of Grace. Follow along as we path ourselves over to a new location, Fort Hate. Activate the Site of Grace and head up to the fort. In front of the main entrance, you'll find a golden seed. Collect this, then enter the fort. Make your way to the small room ahead to grab the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 6. This will come in handy in the future, giving us access to blood grease and blood arrows. Climb to the top of the fort to grab the left half of the Dectus Medallion. This is a key item that will grant us early access to another area of the map further down the line. This next part is optional. Use your Lone Wolf Spirit Summons and face the Godric Knight. Defeating him will reward us with the Ash of War Bloody Slash. Fast travel back to the Fort Hate West side of Grace. Follow along as we head north to the Mistwood Forest. There is an NPC, the Nomadic Merchant 2, who is hidden just off the path to the right here. Skip him for now, we'll be back later when we have more runes. When you reach the Mistwood Ruins, be wary not to disturb the sleeping rune bear. Continue just past it to the underground and open a chest where we'll collect the Axe Talisman. This is an equipment item used to increase the damage of your charged attacks. A quick side note, there is an NPC, Blyde the Half-Wolf. He can be found here at the ruins, howling from the top of the highest tower. Fast travel back to the Church of Ella and speak with Kale, who will give you a gesture that will grant you access to Blyde's quest line. I'll skip this for now and get back to it later. Head to the Minor Erd Tree. Along the way, you'll come across a Scarab. Defeat this Scarab to acquire the Ash of War Ground Slam. At the base of the Erd Tree, you can collect the Spiked Crack Tier and the Green Spill Crystal Tier, both of which can be used in your Flask of Wondrous Physic. We'll be obtaining this item later. Beside the Erd Tree is a mysterious structure. As you approach, the doors will open for you. Enter and use the lift to be lowered to an entirely new section of the game. Welcome to the Shifa River. Activate the Side of Grace, Shifa River Well Depths, then follow along as we make our way to a scarab containing the sorcery Oracle Bubbles. Follow along as we head to the next side of Grace, Shifra Riverbank. Just on a ledge behind the Grace is the Armor Earth Cookbook 6. This will allow us to craft Preserving Boluses, an item used to cure Scarlet Rot. This area contains a puzzle that is solved by lighting 8 torches to unlock the area's boss room. Let's light up the first torch to this puzzle. And now the second torch. Pick up the map for this location. Just up this hill, you'll find the inverted Hawk Heater Shield. Return to where you found the map and jump down to grab the horn bow below the staircase. Use the Spirit Spring jump pad ahead and navigate the bridge ruins to collect a Stone Sword key. Let us light the next two torches of our puzzle. Located just here. And here. Activate the next side of Grace, Worshippers Woods. Now 
make your way to this scarab to obtain the Ash of War square off. Then proceed to light two more torches. Located here and here. Carefully make your way up this broken pillar to use the portal. This part is optional. Defeat the scarab hidden within this group of claymen to obtain the sorcery Great Oracular Bubble. Avoid the Dragonkin soldier boss just ahead and make your way along the edge to the waterfall just behind it. Here we'll find another talisman, Merica's Scar Seal. Carefully make your way down this narrow structure to find another stone sword key. Then go back to collect another golden seed. Cross the natural land bridge back to the worshippers woods and we'll light our last two torches to the puzzle. Although we've just completed the puzzle, we'll save the area boss for another time. Instead, head up the hill to activate the next side of grace below the well. Climb the staircase and loot our next talisman, the Clarifying Horn Charm, then spend your Stone Sword Keys to activate the lift. When you reach the top of the lift, activate another side of grace, Deep Shia for Well. If you take a look around, you will notice this isn't Kansas anymore. You have just set foot into another region of the game. Welcome to Kaelid. At this point, we should have collected everything that we could from Shiofer River. It seems like a good point to end today's video. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll showcase the easiest way to obtain the Great Jars Arsenal Talisman. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, or if you feel like we may have missed anything that you'd like to add, please leave a comment below. Goodbye for now. Hey! Until next time, have a great day. Team Sweaty Palms!